Hello, everybody. It's John Lorden. I'm back. Hope everyone's having a good time out there. I see Morph is in the comments already. <laughs> Morph says this time he's not the one holding things up. Uh, Morph, if you only knew how the last half hour was going. Um, <laughs> it's been a little bit of an adventure. Uh, technical problems. Uh, we have a few guest issues we're going to talk about. <laughs> but we do have a show. Uh, and I want to make sure, first of all, everyone is able to hear me okay. So let me know in those comments if you can. And uh, I want to give a very big thank you to Christy Strasener, who is, um, or Arnhart, sorry. Wow. Look, I pulled out the old name, Christy. <laughs> uh, Crime Christy moderating the comments tonight. Thank you so much for the help. She is, uh, I think it's an understatement to say that she's, my right hand when it comes to work on the channel. She helps in so many different ways. So thank you, Christy, for being here. Uh, hey, everybody. Latoya is here. Bridget's here. Chris Marie, what's up? Brian Flyer. May Bryce. Psycho Mom. Uh-oh. Watch out. <laughs> All right. Loud and clear. Okay, excellent. So we're all good there. Um, just to let everyone know from last week's episode, we did raise $130 that we donated to Feeding America. $130 turns into 1,300 meals that they were able to provide. So uh, I also want to give a big special thank you to Mojo Susan, who ran a little competition with us. She said for every time she heard a cat meow, she was going to add a buck, and she did. She actually made a donation through PayPal. For uh, She counted 28, but she rounded it up to 30. Thank you so much, Mojo Susan. So we're going to see if we can beat that today. And uh, look, Red Beard Gaming gets on the, the board with the first donation of 5 bucks. Thank you so much. Let's see if we can beat 130. And uh, someone else made a donation, but I'm going to try to remember to tell you guys about that at the end. So um, we did have a couple of guests that fell out, unfortunately, but we do have some very special guests with us. Let's bring them on and turn on their microphones. Ladies and gentlemen, say hello to Sarah Turney in the upper right and Danielle Hallen in hello. center. <laughs> um, say, say hi, Sarah. Let, let the people know. <laughs> Sorry. There we go. <laughs> let, them, let them know. <laughs> let them know that you're here. Um, so it is still ladies night. Now, unfortunately, uh, I literally got a text from Stephanie Harlow. She's not feeling good and we are all super concerned. We hope that um, it's it's not what I fear for sure. Yeah. Um, but Steph uh, will certainly come on for another episode at some time. Um, and we just wish her well. Amber also uh, running a little behind might pop in. We'll, we'll keep an eye out. Um, but once again, if she doesn't make it, no big deal. We're going to do this on Saturday nights. And we'll find another uh, time for her to come on. I talked to uh, John Crimes, who also wants to come on. Sarah oh, Kalen. That'd be great. Yeah, yeah, I think that'd be a blast. Uh, Sarah Kalen, that you might know from Three Men, we've had her as an expert on twice. Uh, she is talking about coming on. So uh, Lance from Crawl Space. We're going to get the other half of Crawl Space at some point. So we've got all kinds of different guests. And I'm even thinking maybe we should do one night where we have brain scratchers come on, like a couple of my fans come on and play Ooh, in some way. That's a good idea. You like that idea, Danielle? <laughs> I love that. I like that idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'm thinking about all kinds of different stuff. Um, let's see. A lot of people saying hello to Sarah and Danielle. And thank you to any crime after crime fans that are out there also. We really appreciate having you guys here. Uh, Melissa Stefan with a big $10 donation. Thank you so much, Melissa. And I know I missed someone. Yeah. Uh, I think it's Phil. It might be Pi1215, but uh, thank you so much for the super chat also. All right. Well, it seems like um, 
these games might not go as great only having three players. So I really feel like we need someone else. And I feel like it should be a lady because this is ladies night. And quite honestly, I think this might be something that my audience in particular would enjoy. So let me bring on our last guest. And interestingly, I'm not bringing her on through Zoom. She's going to walk right in. And this is Mrs. Brain Scratch, my wife, Vera. And the crowd goes wild. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Vera is here. There we go. She's getting her earbuds in so she can hear too. And remember to lean in on the mic when you, you're not used How, to How's this? Is this good? That's perfect. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, honey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, she's also got uh, another fan of mine here. This is Kitty. Stan Lee, who uh, popped in last week for a little bit. All right, everyone. Um, just want to hit the comments real quick. Let's see. Yeah, people are talking about Stephanie. Um, yeah, I, be I do believe she is in New York. So uh, we certainly hope that she is okay. We've got people saying hello to Vera. <laughs> hey, everyone's excited. Christy's excited too. Yeah, Christy, Christy didn't know this was going to happen. So <laughs> um, excellent. Okay, well, we're going to do the same setup we did last week. We've got three games. We're going to mix it up though because I don't know if the rap battle worked quite as well and i don't know if the ladies want to get into a a, a, a dissing rap battle with each other <laughs> oh boy <laughs> <laughs> i don't know if that's my thing <laughs> yeah right. yeah so uh, i've Maybe got while i'm alone in the car and that's about it <laughs> <laughs> i've got some ideas for um what to do there is there anything you ladies wanted to say before we get started on the games just that i'm excited because i haven't seen other people in a long time <laughs> This yeah, is the no, first, just, I'm excited to be here too. This is the first <laughs> time I have put makeup on in like three weeks. There we go. <laughs> we appreciate so much. <laughs> All right, excellent. Well, let's uh, get started. And mm -hmm. for that, we got to go to my Nintendo Switch. And I really liked um, the uh, audience interaction we had with some of these games. So please be sure to jump in with us. We're gonna start again with a round of gaspionage. Uh, actually, I need to hide this real quick because we can't give all of you the code quite yet. Um, but I need to see it. So let's get this thing going, all right. And ladies, uh, remember to check the chat. I'll have the code in there for you shortly. What does that mean? That's the alarm that goes off when the world's man bun population has eclipsed 15%. What do we do? We Why am I so nervous, though? <laughs> so nervous, so excited. <laughs> Don't be nervous. <laughs> I'm horrible Whoa. at any game or anything ever. Was that a cat? No, that was my stomach. <laughs> Someone feed John. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I just <laughs> ate, I swear. And you had no idea. Ooh, this is no, fun. Oh. <laughs> We're like, oh. All right. Yeah, go ahead and lock it up, babe. Turns out Wow. Four income. Oh, I have to do it. I have to. I don't know what that is. I think it might be a dolphin. <laughs> My character, I'm not quite sure. I love All right, it. I everyone. Went for the, dog. the code you're looking for is Hey, your government here. We've oh. been kind of, sort of, collecting information about You'll never know. TGOQ. By turning it all into a game that we call... Gespionage. Here we go. Okay, who's first? I hear you. Typey, typey. What percentage of people can juggle three balls with two hands for at least 10 seconds? Mm. Give it your best guess. You get more points the closer you come to the actual percentage. And if you're in the audience, don't forget to answer the question. We have an answer. Thank you, Miss Skiss. Thank you, okay, Kim. Thank you, else. Justin. Time to guess if the actual percentage is higher or lower. Uh, 33%. Juggle 
three balls with two hands for at least two seconds. <laughs> Did it really One person it? says lower. And Surveil says... Oh! Yes! Oh. And the more they juggle, the lower they are. <laughs> You're joking. <laughs> I was like, so, everyone can do this. Lower. Not me, really, but do. everyone else. <laughs> Not the same. <laughs> Clearly wasn't right. <laughs> Next up. Hey, there's my VR goggles. I love it. Has some juicy data for this. <laughs> what percentage of people regularly rely on their phone's calculators to figure out tips in restaurants? Mm. Well, I know I certainly need one, even though I don't always use it. I think it's going to be 45. I think a lot of people know tricks, like just doubling the tax or things like that. I'm going 44. Everyone else, higher or lower? I hear you. Yeah. Ooh, everyone thinks it's higher. And Maybe. what does your audience think? Yeah, I don't know. I think it's higher. I need to just go with my personal experience. I keep trying to like guess and pretend. Yeah. I always do the double the tax thing and add a couple bucks. That's usually what I do. Exactly. I, I do a really bizarre okay, trick, but that would take me next? forever to explain. <laughs> <laughs> so we won't go there. Ooh, I remember seeing good surveillance for this yesterday. Oh, it's Danielle's turn. In their most recent encounter with a hair and a food item, what percentage of people continued eating said item? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Making John hungry. I know. I'm, I'm, ho I'm hoping it's, I want to say 35%, because I feel like there are some, we're going to go with it. 35%. <laughs> okay, higher or lower? I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be higher. Really? Yeah. yeah. I almost went lower, lower just to go One flip. Vote for lower. How did the audience answer? Whoa! Way higher. Okay. Hey, you're a better guesser than our trained rats. Nice job. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like so many people work in food service that you're like, eh. Right. <laughs> nice job. I got some for you. I'm trying to keep up with the donations. Thank you, Alicia. Who's next? Sarah. Oh. Thank you, Justin. Thank All you, right, Kim. All right, buckle in. I've got one for you. All right, Sarah's up. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> How relevant. <laughs> I know. People most often use toilet paper to blow their noses. Oh. I would say a lot. Um... Not nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say like 65. I mean, what I are do. you, Rich? Yeah. Right, what did you stop bragging? Toilet paper. <laughs> I gotta think it's almost everybody. And what did the audience Me too. say? What? Ooh. Really? You were pretty close. That's crazy. Wow. I feel People like are really fancy. I know. Is there like a stigma yeah. about that or something? I know. <laughs> there must be something we don't know. Yeah. We made it through round one. Let's peek at the scores. All right. I hear you. Oh, Sarah. Oh, I'm doing really good, you guys. Yeah, big lead. Still plenty of time, Danielle. <laughs> you got this. You got, got this. Let's start with you. Uh, I don't know. How about... Oh, perfect for me. <laughs> what percentage of people get more than half of their consumed chili from cans? Ooh. Um... More than half. That's probably, I'm going to say, 60%. Got it. 60%. In round two, you can double down if you think the guess is off by 15% or more. Just pick much higher or much lower. If you're correct, you're Mama's little angel. You get double the points. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Um. Mm. I'm going to just go lower. Yeah, that's what I'm leaning towards. towards. I don't think it's much lower. One of you is saying higher. Let's see the audience. We're having cat issues in here. 
Uh -oh. 44%. Hey. No. Oh, okay. darn it. I'm the only points. person here that loves eating my chili from McCann. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. I just don't believe that many that people too. are making so chili. Is that, isn't that the <laughs> alternative? Yeah. Come on. Exactly. Okay, who's up next? Hi, Dad. Let's see. <laughs> what would be good? How about this? All what right. percentage of people never RSVP to weddings they plan to attend? <laughs> oh, goodness. That can't be very high. Boo, hiss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> never RSVP. I could see some people like, oh, they would know I'm coming. I'm the father. Yeah, I could see that, too. Uh, yeah. I'm going to put it. We're almost out of time. 6%. What do y'all think? Never or lower? RSVP. Never. But like, what if you like agree? <laughs> Where's the agree button? I think it's exactly six percent. <laughs> Precisely. <laughs> we'll just Everyone do that. says higher. How did the audience answer? Fifteen. Oh! One percent off. That was so close. John. <laughs> How did you manage that one? Wow. I don't know. <laughs> But you all got points Next too. Up. I love the dolphin noise. Oh, I know. <laughs> After curling. What percentage of people have built complicated structures out of Legos? You mean like this one? <laughs> <laughs> we'll go with that. 55%. Everyone else, higher or lower? Mm. It's kind of tricky. Mm -hmm. I don't know that I could say I have ever done a complicated structure. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I'm gonna go much know. lower. I hear you. Huh. Hurry up. <laughs> One of you thinks it's higher. And what did the audience say? You might be right. Whoa! Oh! oh. Ooh, just a few percent of off. Well done. Sarah, you were optimistic. <laughs> I was actually, it like logged me out of the game, so I had to log back in and I just pressed oh, no. something really quick. Oh, no. Wow. <laughs> As for you, ugh, I'm sorry. That answer was closer than 15%. Shouldn't have doubled down. Yes, well, sir. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I got schooled. Okay, who's up you did. <laughs> oh, this is going to be good. <laughs> Are you ready, Sarah, for bidets? Why am I getting questions like this? I feel attacked. What percentage of people have used bidets? Before or after the toilet paper crisis? Yeah, seriously. I know. Everything is I, different. I saw I mean, an article today like... literally talking about don't use toilet paper. I think it was the New York Times. 35%. Use Everyone water picked. instead. Higher or lower. Is this an America? Is this in America? Because I have, like, mm, I feel like, exactly. I feel like I, know, that I was like different. I know, this needs to be a little bit more specific. Yeah. <laughs> Before or after the virus in like what country? And what does your audience think? Oh, wow. Oh, I was Whoa. way off. I was off, too. I feel like that's not right. <laughs> I feel I feel like that's America. Right. I think so. Yeah, I think yeah, you're right. I think if that was other countries, it would be closer to a third. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Ashley Marie. Hey, Lisa. It's time for the final round. Everyone in the audience has been scanned so we can know how they would answer this question. What pasta variety or shape do people most like to eat? Let's take a look <laughs> at the board. You'll need to pick the three most popular answers to get points. Ready, go! If you're in the audience, how you answer the question will affect who gets points. I'm a sucker for shells. I'm just going to put it out there. I love some shells. <laughs> I was like, yum, ravioli. I know. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> in the pantry. What are the most popular answers? Okay. Oh. I hate fettuccine. I'm, I'm not a big fan either. Really? <laughs> not going to lie. <laughs> Every game has to have a winner, and our winner is. I guess. I do. 
Danielle, wow. come on from behind. The comeback. Yeah. <laughs> John Yay. Lorden and Dead Last. <laughs> so it should be on Ladies Night. I guess so. I know. Yeah. It I is Ladies you. Night. Threatened me in the podcast. He said this is the season of comebacks. I'm taking it out right here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all right. Well, let's see here. That was kind of fun. Um, I need to do something. Same. Let's yeah, let's do it. Let's do it again. Let's do another round on that. The audience that really fun. likes it, and I I see that they're guessing along with us too. It's, uh, it's interesting to see, to see you too. What the I mean, we are. always see you, but yeah. you know what I mean. Time for more espionage. Espionage. First up. Okay, computer. What do you have for this one? First dates. Ooh. Oh, I'm excited to see what this is. <laughs> what percentage of people when setting up first dates rely on familiar go-to places? Oh, a ton of them. Yeah. I would think, I would think like at least... Why did that question make me feel bad for a second? <laughs> well, there's either going to be the person that relies on that or the person that freaks out and they're like, I have to go to the best place ever. But I think everyone's going to go to a go-to place. An answer. So you know your exits, like the true crime group here, really coming out. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm like, well, you calculate. <laughs> I'm gonna say it's a little higher. I'm gonna say lower, yeah. but I think people are just embarrassed to be honest about lower. it. Let's see. Let's see yeah, I think you're right. Answer. Oh, fair enough. Nope. Woo! Ooh. I knew. That was a respectable <laughs> guess. I mean, I guess there's something to be said about like, oh, I wanted to Let's show you my right. favorite pizza place, nice. or yeah. you know, yeah, it's like a cute personal thing. I can see that. Yeah. yeah. Who's next? Hi, Dad. What's up, oh, William Zambrano? We're interested. doing great. Don't ask why. I'm already excited about the next episode of Crime After Crime. <laughs> What percentage of people have been kicked out of bars? Oh, <laughs> let's take a we quick poll right here no, with the four no, of us. No, I'm not, I'm not answering. <laughs> <laughs> something, something, mm. something to say all of us. Hundred percent. We're all like, Ooh. it was only one time. I, I got to figure that out of every four people, oh, no. <laughs> one. Yeah, that might be a pretty good. Okay, higher or lower? <laughs> I feel like it's more. You do? But maybe I just run with a rowdy group. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is that how it rolls out in Arizona? <laughs> I'm gonna say lower. It used to. Is this what normal oh, for everybody? Okay. Yeah, okay, I feel a little funny. better. <laughs> okay. I still think it would have been higher than that, but. Who got it right? Smart. Nice. Here's your points. Next up. I hear you. All right, Vera. We've collected data about everything, even this. Oh, this is a good Ooh. one for me. I was going to say it's perfect. Oh. <laughs> what percentage of people prefer DC Comics characters, Superman, Batman, oh. etc., to Marvel? This is a good one. <laughs> oh, this is a great one. <laughs> oh, wow, that's a hard question, too. Especially, like, in the last yeah. 10 years. Yeah. So... Quick shout out to John Arnhart. I know you're listening, brother. Thank you so much for I'm gonna say with taking all the care of Avengers Christy. Stuff lately, I'm going to say uh, 40%. Like 40%. What do y'all yeah, think? Look at Disneyland. Yep. Mm, prefer DC to Marvel. Yeah, I think you're right, but the I think it's going to skew harder. Yeah. 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 Oh, 43%. wow. <laughs> Wow. That was such a close that guess. guess. <laughs> yeah, it was. It's strange because I do. Nice. I love oh, Marvel characters, right? but then I really love Superman and Batman. I just, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. That's See, a tough They are tried and true. Oh, I'm yeah. such a Marvel person. All right, Surveillance Pro, what do you have for this? Hand sanitizer. <laughs> 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 what percentage of people keep written lists of their passwords? Oh, oh boy. I think a lot. Yeah, I do too. Mm -hmm. yeah. Especially like for work and stuff. Mm -hmm. I feel like I always write that down. Mm -hmm. All right, this might be a little high, but I'm doing it. Go on with it. All right, what do you think? Oh, man. Maybe a little bit I lower, think it's a I little think less. Yeah, pretty good. I think it's a little yeah. lower. It's unanimous again. Let's see the audience answer. 
All right. Yeah, I can that see was that. That a respectable guess. Yeah. Well, and I wonder if they're considering programs or if they're, like, yeah, literally, no, it's written on yeah. paper. Nice job. Yeah. I've got some points for you. We're just questioning the specifics of this game. We're like, okay, I know. we need to be yeah. more clear. It's not my fault. This guy's We're fault. We're very thorough people. Exactly. <laughs> I want to know, like, the subject group. Like, who exactly. Who answer those questions? <laughs> Precisely. Who's up first? Danielle. Here's one for my peeps. <laughs> what percentage of people have bought marshmallow peeps for their own non-Easter related snacking? <laughs> one hundred percent of myself. <laughs> Absolutely. I don't know, because people are funny about peeps, so I'm just going to keep it at 50%. Yeah. I know some people hate them. Okay. Some people do I hate peeps. peeps. I, I love them. They're so good. Do you think the correct answer is high oh, or good. lower? Hmm. I'm going to say a little low. I think I it's a little yeah. lower. I love how peeps gonna, is really yeah, showing. I'm going to go lower, too. <laughs> I think there's an embarrassment factor that's going to skew this one. Oh, that's lower than I thought it was. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's way lower than I thought it was. But... How did I stay in business? I know. <laughs> well I'm done. keeping them afloat <laughs> single-handedly. <laughs> yeah, people are talking about it in the comments. Moon Maid hates peeps. <laughs> Even Morph, he says yuck. What are you talking about, Morph? Well, I'll I send you a box of peeps. I also love candy corn Ooh, and almond joys. Everyone hates those too, so. <laughs> yeah. I'm not impressed. <laughs> Costumes. What percentage Ooh. of people have worn Halloween pun costumes? Oh, goodness. Like the so serial cool. killer one where it's a cereal yeah. box with a yeah. knife in it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I bet we see that at CrimeCon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, I'm going with the same amount as people that get kicked out of bars. One out of four. <laughs> Everyone else, higher or lower? It takes a certain person to wear a pun costume, I think. Maybe a little higher. Just one person oh, really? says Even though I've never done it. Mm. <laughs> I've never done it, but I know a ton of half. Yeah. Woo! That's a really good game. That's a dream guess. team over there. They're getting seriously. <laughs> Let's see who got it right. Here's some points. I love that you're wearing a face mask, by the way. Your icon. Next up. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to be safe. Yeah. Right. We're not social distancing, so. Yeah. Too close. <laughs> Gasoline. What percentage of people usually let their gas gauges mm. get to or below E before refilling? Mm. Danielle? <laughs> <laughs> not me. It's triggering my OCD just reading, <laughs> reading that. Um, <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna say a third. 33%. Okay, higher or lower? I hope it's lower. I don't think it is. Really? I don't think it is either. Really? People are, people are crazy. How did the audience answer? I'm thinking about like high school, huh? Everyone just went around an empty tank. 23%. Oh. Wow, you were pretty close. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we've all done it at some point. Nice job. I've got some Definitely not a few times. <laughs> <laughs> I've learned a lesson okay, or two about now? doing that. <laughs> Would all be needing if the boss ever catches me doing this? <laughs> what percentage of people have business cards? Oh, like total? I would say not that many. Yeah, definitely not anymore. Again, they're I was not gonna say enough. 20, yeah. 20 years ago. That's a good ago, point. Be different. Yeah. yeah. What do y'all think? Higher or lower? That's a pretty good guess. Yeah, I, I think know. You're really I hate close. when this happens. <laughs> I hope it's a good guess. I need some points. <laughs> I mean, there's certain industries like real estate and like salespeople. Say, one person says lower. Maybe. Let's see the audience answer. Oh, 31%. wow. Good job. What a guess. Hey. Wow, Sarah. That was, so, that was so great. Wow. I'm impressed. Right. Yeah. And me too. I had no idea I could do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, way to go, me. <laughs> hey, I got one. I'm happy with it. <laughs> we stalked everyone in the audience to learn how they would answer this question. 
In what language that they don't currently speak would most people like to be fluent? Now let's see the answers. Hmm. Okay. This is hard. But only the top three answers will get you points. Good okay. luck! <laughs> and if you're in the audience, your answers determine who gets points. I really wanted to say ASL. I just, I don't yeah. know that the stats are going to go that way. All right, let's see oh, what yeah. everyone picked. Wow. Okay, computer, show us the most popular answers. No one wants to know Greek. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. I'm impressed. Yeah. Japanese is higher than French. Oh, for Who's business. My hero? Who's okay. my hero? Yeah. Hey, Japanese. <clears throat> yeah. Should have thought of that. Hey! hey! All right. Nice. <laughs> the downfall. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> really warms my cock. Did you know 76% of people don't even know what cockles are? Cockles? Yeah. We're talking, talking about cockles? Yeah, I guess. I heard taco, but I also oh, just really like I heard tacos, okay. though. <laughs> so I'm not sure what I said. All right, we're going to change up the game here. Thanks, everyone, for playing along. Man, it's fun watching the chat box just explode with everyone's guesses. and <laughs> Yeah, that's awesome. Um, let me see here. I just saw a message. Just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Oh, William says, hey, Danielle, just saw your Eric Lee Franks episode today. Great job. Ooh, thank you. That was a rough ride. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Let's Nothing see. Nothing made sense. Um, oops. No, I don't want to look at Nintendo news. <laughs> you, you probably do. <laughs> Actually, I do. Hey, just right. everyone hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to change up the game to one that we played last week with the boys um, called Quiplash. We're going to get to make some creative answers here to prompts that they give us. <clears throat> it disconnected me and yeah. is telling me I can't reconnect. Yeah, because we closed that game. <laughs> oh, okay. So just go to Jackbox. I, know, I was over here. I was like, wait. <laughs> <laughs> just go back to Jackbox.tv, and I'll give you a new code in just a okay. second. Thanks, John. <laughs> you yeah. got it. <laughs> code coming your way. So sit back and relax. All right, everyone is in. Yep. <laughs> Perfect. Sit back and relax. I All like right. L V Z I for everyone that wants to join in on the audience. L V Z I. Schmitty here with your daily dose of quiplash. Use as directed. I think we've got just enough people to do the wave, but let's not. <laughs> Let's do a little. This is round one. <laughs> You'll get two prompts on your device. Just answer them however you want. Your responses, or quips, will be pitted against someone else's, and everyone will vote on their favorite. The more folks who choose your answer, the more points you get. Go. All right, time to get clever. Oh, no. I'm going to be terrible at this. Oh, me too. Don't worry. <laughs> That. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to buy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have yours? <clears throat>
Nah. I thought of something. All right, all right. (laughs) Danielle's cracking herself up. (laughs) Yeah, it'll take a round or two, and then your brain will kind of like, oh, okay. I can get clever on this. (laughs) (laughs) No one else is going to find it funny. That's the best part. (laughs) There's 29, 30 people in the audience. Awesome. And thank you, Margarita, and thank you for another donation. I, I want to say it's Phil, but I think it's Pi1215. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, it's Pi. I'm it's on pie. the chat now. All I right. Had to see it. <laughs> Let's Is it see not what we got. Oh, no. Oh. No, I didn't see you in there. Oh, no. Why is it doing that? Weird. Okay. Uh, hey, isn't that the same answer? <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like mine's not working. Uh oh. Uh oh. No, no, it is. You voted. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, your vote came in. You voted. Huh. But I don't think your answers got in. Well, you can still make points on the voting. The worst part about having a boyfriend who's secretly a highly advanced robot. Wow. Uh, are you kidding me? That's hilarious. Oh, I love it. Who did it? I need to know. Me. We'll know at the end. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> I love it so much. We no. split. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> the emoji was everything. <laughs> I know it was perfect. It was good. <laughs> and I next, anything. what's that smell? <laughs> oh. oh, it was just the last one. <laughs> well, Vera wins that one. Oh, how funny. What was the answer, Danielle? Do you remember? I have no idea. Oh, okay. Next to the hopper. It's like my phone's really doing something frugal. weird. Instead of buying hmm. paper towels, you blank. Okay, vote. Oh, those are really good. <laughs> I'm so happy that everyone's really excited about the heartless. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. People in the comments are really excited about it. Hey, thanks for the vote, dear. <laughs> if I'd have known that, I would have voted for Sarah's. I know. I know. <laughs> I mean, have you ever used newspaper to like clean one. a mirror? Let's take a look at the <laughs> I've had a homeless guy spit on my windshield and use newspaper on it. Like, here, let me clean this real quick. <laughs> Streak free. <laughs> Round two time, and to make it interesting, I'm doubling all the point values. All right, Danielle, here's made- where you can make it happen. Yeah. Hi there. <laughs> I know, I know all of our minds went to the same place. <clears throat> yeah. Bridget says her dad used corn cobs. Actually, in that article I read today, it mentioned that. Yeah, that people would use corn cobs instead of toilet paper. That's insane. Hey, Gray Hughes is here and lays in a donation. Thank you so much, Gray. Appreciate that. (laughs) And he's saying he sucked at these games. (laughs) Is your phone working, Danielle? Mine is showing a completely different thing to answer to. That's okay. That's fine. That's good. Yeah. Are you almost done? Hurry. We got 15 yeah, seconds. Quick button if you can't think of something. 10 seconds. There you go. Hey, we made it. That was scary. <laughs> that was really Pressure. scary. First one. You know you're old when you're at a bar and the bartender asks you blank. 
Okay, select your favorite weapon. That's hilarious. <laughs> 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 Yours is way better. <laughs> hey, the audience. The audience yeah. gave you. Yep. Thank you. Winner bonus from the audience. <laughs> Next prompt. Something you don't want to find in oh your my grandpa's God. tool shed. Oh, I'm so <laughs> Put in your bonus. Don't. <laughs> I cannot believe no one answered dead body. <laughs> it was my first the, the, thought. Yeah, the like, first I thing to pop in my head was grandma. Me. No one. <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> Your icon's grumpy, Danielle. I'm not surprised. Next <laughs> the greatest part about having lots and lots of back hair. Oh, goodness. Float away. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people seem to not want to find funny. <laughs> yeah, adult magazines in their grandfather's garage. <laughs> All right. <laughs> nice. <laughs> You're getting all the winner bonus, babe. Next on deck, the title of a sex ed book from oh the 40s. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, <on your> <laughs> good one. That's nice. Amazing. You nailed that one. I'm yeah. so impressed yeah. with that. Yeah. Absolutely. Look at the audience. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Sweet. That was a good one. <laughs> I'm not good at the answers for this one. That's it for round oh, two. Let's it. see those scores. Yeah. I'm just still doing great. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah's crushing it. Oh, Sarah's not that far behind me. Round three has arrived. The last I can do this. Last. You're all going to answer <laughs> the same prompt, so pull out all the stops. All right. Come up with an answer for this word lash task. <laughs> Jack and Jill went down the hill separated, isn't it? <laughs> isn't the <it> common? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Mm. Man. Crazy. It's hard. That's really hard. Mine's the worst ever, so it's fine. <laughs> mine is too. <laughs> no, mine. Mine has to be the worst. That's what I'm going for. Absolute worst. Let's see what you've wrought. In the final round, you can get out one gold and one silver medal to your top two clips. Make them count. Trying, trying to round. <laughs> Crowding <laughs> oh, around town. I can't. <laughs> There's something oddly intriguing about wandering trout. <laughs> right? That's what I thought. Hmm. It's like, what is that about? Wandering where? <laughs> what are you doing? Wandering trout. It makes me think of all the fish that walk around in in bikini bottom. 
right? Do you know what I mean? My kids have been watching SpongeBob. Maybe that's where that came from. Oh my God, they're throwing <laughs> around. Hamel Trout. Hamel Trout is tr funny. Trout or Consequences. Oh. Yeah. Phantom of the Trout. The, those the Book guys, of Trout. You guys should be playing. Okay. Yeah. Let's see who got those yeah. I tried the she Hamilton the thing and it didn't. I went the wrong yeah, way with it. Troutleton. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's turn that into cold hard points. Mine was so All bad. All right. I had <laughs> yeah. It's this over. Let's see the final scores. Without a trout of doubt. That's a good one, too. Oh, the book of trout. <laughs> All right. Oh. Hey. Yeah. 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 Winner. Feeling it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Adult magazines. <laughs> that was perfect. Of course, that was the top answer. Of course. I love it. Um, well, I think we've got time for one more game. Uh, would you, ladies, since it's ladies' night, I'll give you the choice. Do you want to play another round of this? Do you want to play another round of Gaspianage? Or do you want to play a mystery game that I have? Oh, gosh. I, I'm kind of intrigued by the mystery. Yeah, yeah I, me too. I agree. Imagine that. <laughs> okay. Let's do that. Um, let's see here. I just got to pull it up. Thanks to the audience for playing along. It was fun to have your uh, scores kick in and affect the game there. <laughs> Papa What's dog? going on over there, Sarah? Yeah. <laughs> My dog hates everything I do on this computer. That's what it is. <laughs> Popper hates podcasting and live streaming and everything. It's like, no, the attention's not on me. This is a problem. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Everyone's saying mystery game. I'm excited. Mystery game, yeah, let's see here. Um, so quiet. We've got yeah. I'm reading it's I'm reading the call. <laughs> oh yeah. You see anything good in there? And Jim said ladies night. Oops, I think I'm out of place here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, let's see here. So the game we're going to be playing this time is called Fibbage. We're oh, actually no. playing the third edition. Once again, we have to kind of answer things, but on this, you're trying to come up with Convincing lies, basically. Ooh. So. Oh, I'm gonna be bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be terrible at this. I'm not good at stuff. Like this. <laughs> are you starting already with the lies, or what is that? <laughs> like this is a trick, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. All right, new You'll code coming know. your way. This is why Vera keeps winning because she knows. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I do play a really fun game of uh, two truths and a lie, though. A lot of people don't oh, expect it. Oh, that's good. I like playing <laughs> See? that game. I can't do it because I laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I can't. I can't handle it. I'm the worst poker face ever. Oh, I like the music here. It's like 70s game show. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Danielle, you have a prompt on yours to say everybody's in? Yep. All right. We're playing Fibbage, and the code is WJPL. I'm Cookie Masterson, and I've started a small fire somewhere in the room. Let's see how this plays out. Okay, Casual. <laughs> four days, quattro, fear, tessera. Ah, <sighs> four. Oh, and if anybody else wants to join, they can get in the audience at any time. The audience votes on <laughs> Moon Maid wants to know what's Vera's channel. What is your, do you have a channel? Also get to guess the truth. Let's go. She hasn't told me if she does have a channel. <laughs> it's a secret. <laughs> I'm gonna tell Danielle and Sarah about it later. <laughs> Perfect. Yes. I'm excited. Fooling the other players with your lies, and you'll score one thousand for finding the truth. So Ooh, I get to choose a category. Um, <laughs> this is a 70s game show. Yeah. What are <laughs> Miracles. First question. 
The Miracle of 1511 was a festival in Brussels, Belgium, where the citizens displayed their displeasure with the government by making blank. Now, on your device, type out a good lie that you think other players might believe is true. If you can't think of something, press the lie for me button for half the points. Do it already! <laughs> Yeah, it is a cool retro vibe. Write something quick or use the lie for me button. <laughs> All right, now find the truth and select it on your device. Pornographic <laughs> snowman. Hmm. <laughs> I love that there's two answers with poop. <laughs> okay, what did everyone pick? <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> Be so pleased. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Danielle! Nice. You got Sean. You got me. <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? I love me? that one so <laughs> much. <laughs> somebody That's needs. Amazing. Somebody needs to Google that right now. Yeah, I, I think we need, need more information yeah. on this. We just found a story for crime after crime, Danielle. <laughs> <laughs> Write this down. I'm telling you. No, oh, that's hilarious. Whoa. Oh, Danielle. Okay, Danielle. Yeah, yeah, you get to pick. Oh, how can Trace I elements, I'm telling you, I thought it was bonfires too. Okay, here's the question. In order to detect illegal levels of odor from marijuana smoke, Denver police use a device called the blank. Enter your lies now. Too bad Ken uh, Kendall Ray isn't here. She'd probably know this right off the top of her head. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I know all about this, let me tell you. <laughs> Finish quick, or just hit the lie for me button. They really don't give you very much time on this. No, you gotta get it. Right, oh. Pick the truth. <laughs> Narc knows. <laughs> <laughs> so please, so please. I know. <laughs> How do you know? How do you know what's the truth? Exactly. <clears throat> All right, let's see what you guys picked. <laughs> what? <laughs> that was the first a good time one. I've ever that lied to you in my one. life, honey. That was, that was the first time. <laughs> oh, Danielle got you back. I liked it the best, too. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the truth? Nasal. What? Oh, Nasal yeah. Ranger. It looks like a megaphone you stick in your nose. That's this weird. Is a very funny really? Thing to imagine that is weird. High. I don't like it. Did anyone know that? Does it? Yeah, oh I think there's God. other drugs that would be detecting. I don't think that would be for right? marijuana. Sounds like a cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I did the lie for me. I panicked because I couldn't think of anything. Select the category. Beer is oh, choice. Oh, it's my turn. Yeah. Okay. Oh, the devil. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Let's see what we got. In 2013, a Canadian man sued the Dominican Republic because while on vacation there, there were too many blank. Mm. Okay, enter your lies. I feel like I know this guy. I love watching Hurry, everyone's face. Everyone's trying to. <laughs> <laughs> half of it be clever, the other half. Okay, deceive. which one is the truth? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Okay, let's take a look. Ha! <laughs> good one, Sarah. I love so that. So clever. One. That was so good. <laughs> There's too many dang doors here. You keep getting me. <laughs> yeah. We can't have her play this game anymore. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Really? Love that. Oh my goodness. And that man I can see that. is now the king of the Dominican Republic. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> So at, afterwards, you know, it's, it tells you to guess which one you think is the truth, right? Mm -hmm. There's another. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's I didn't realize that's what that was. Hey, doing. look, it's round two. Strap in because all the points are doubled. I'm not good at any of these games. <laughs> time to pick a but are you having fun? Yeah. I'm having a great time regardless. <laughs> We're going to have to play more then, Danielle. <laughs> I know. You <laughs> make I me better at this. Be <laughs> John Crimes in the chat. What's up, John? Oh, he says, "What in the true crime?" Broke into Buckingham Palace. When police captured him, they found that he had blank stuffed in his pants. All right, type in your lies. I was telling the audience earlier, John, we're going to have you on really, really soon. I'll be in touch. All right, find the truth. The <laughs> oh, the queen. This the queen was stuffed in his pants. I love it. Hmm, I wonder if that's the truth. I just picked whatever at this Let's point. Let's see what everybody selected. <laughs> You've given up. I've given up. I'm so terrible. Oh, you're great. All, what are you also, talking about? Also my Why favorite answer. Yeah. yeah. I also don't know how that like, immediately popped into my head. <laughs> that would have been... Uh-oh, Danielle. You're sorry. <laughs> no one picked my lie. Oh. <laughs> Is that the truth? Wow. <laughs> That no, is disturbing. That's sad. Them, especially considering Craig's I'm sad that's the truth. Adventure. You go to all that trouble to break into the palace and you would take the queen's underwear. It's kind of weird. Yeah. It is very weird. Wow. Sarah's got a comfortable lead. Here's something you gotta see. It's time to look at this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm sure I don't have to tell oh my you goodness. this is a patent for blank. Type in your lies now. Keep it clean, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> This is not what I meant by ladies night. <laughs> it's the curve okay, part that's throwing me. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness. The man pad. <laughs> <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> yeah. It has to be an ancient eye patch. And what did people pick? <laughs> I had to pick it. It was just clever. I nice. love it. That was a good one, Sarah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, good one. Good Very one. funny. <laughs> I'm crying. Wow. Wow, Danielle, you found it. Probably be wearing in 20 years or so. Fascinating. <laughs> I know we're like, mm-hmm. Interesting. That might have made the difference. Let's see. Nope. Oh, Danielle, moving up. Ooh. She's in striking distance. Yeah. All right, A job. category. The comments are fun. <laughs> Therapy, I love it. Yeah, that was difficult. Let me do it for you. Rude. 
<laughs> Here's a question for you. Tough break for the disabled in Beaver Dam, Wisconsin. As of 2015, you can no longer claim blank as a therapeutic aid. Mm. Write your lies now. We're all like, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> I keep my little secret. Hey, seek the truth. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh I hope it's true. <laughs> I hope I have the right one. <laughs> Just give me one. I've been terrible this game. All right, who picked what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yeah. nice. That was the perfect answer from Scott. That was really good. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay, I got her back. <laughs> <laughs> that keeps happening. <laughs> what? Wow. You're lying. Come on. Great <laughs> I mean, so obviously crazy. not, but. <laughs> wow. Who knew? Well, there were so many kangaroos in huh? Wisconsin. In Wisconsin? <laughs> Someone had to have tried that, and they had to have, like, stopped them. From the claim or something. There has to be some story behind that. Yes. Final fibbage. It's final fibbage time. Pay attention because this last one. Everyone thought it was beer. Points. I know. I thought it was beer too. <laughs> Thank God it wasn't. <laughs> I know, honestly. I was like, oh, I got to start collecting receipts. Before killing you, it will simply ask you if you want blank or blank. Type in your mm. lives now. Okay, take a look and find the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Red toilet paper, blue toilet paper. I love it. An iPhone or an Android. I tried the lie for me thing and it gave me a terrible response. All right, I know, let's I see what everybody that one. picked. Sarah. Sarah! Wow! That was amazing. Well, that's cooler. <laughs> that's cooler than whatever the real answer is. <laughs> eh, that was the lie for me option. You're like it was terrible. I'm like I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> Just as long as it's not. That is not the truth. Is. That apparently is the truth. Oh my god. Weird. Goodness. What's what's that toilet paper night? It's toilet paper night. On... I'm telling you, this is triggering <laughs> right? for me. Sarah, look, Seriously. Sarah, you killed it that round. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about being the best fibber or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can you uh, send me the email address of your significant other? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> She's real good at making up things. <laughs> Excellent, excellent, excellent. Well, I think that's it for the games tonight. We are over the hour mark, um, but let's take a look real quick. I think we actually had more viewers this week, and then we had all those people jumping in the chat. Chat is super fun to watch. I really um, am enjoying that. That's a, a fun part of doing this with you guys. I know uh, I put it on and I've been loving it. <laughs> yeah. So for the chat revenue right now, we're at $87. So any final donations we want to get in there, do them in the next minute. Um, because we're trying to beat 130. We're trying to beat last week. But $87, that's already going to be 870 meals from Feeding America. Um, no, that's so good. Yeah. 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 And... Here, I'll, I'll just give you guys another um, another minute before I make that announcement. But ladies, thank you so much for joining. Really appreciate you guys coming on. Would you do it again? 
Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, definitely. I'll do. I'll do just as bad next time too. <laughs> <laughs> and Sarah will be, be the best liar. It'll yeah. be great. <laughs> Should we do a tally? How many did you? You won two games. I don't remember. I think you won two. Sarah, do you remember? Did you win more than one? I don't remember either. <laughs> yeah. We're just having the time of our life over yeah. here. Yeah. We're just having a good time. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> um, all right. So I think that is it. We're going to go. Oh, there's another one that came in. Thank you, Lisa. Lisa Looney Tune. I love that name. A lot of people are asking, Sarah, what your channel is. You want to talk oh, about Oh, yeah. That? Sarah, tell yeah. us. Tell them about yourself while uh, we wait for some more of these to come in. Oh, sure. Um, I kind of have a YouTube channel where I host some things on there, but it's not updated regularly. It just has videos about Alyssa. Um, but I mostly do a podcast, Voices for Justice, about my sister, Alyssa Turney. And John has been amazing and is my hero forever. So that's why I'm here. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> that's sweet. Um, yeah, Sarah and I met. It was, I guess, it's coming up on five years, we figured out. But it was right after I had started doing oh, Brain wow. Scratch. And she reached out and she's like, I've got this story. Um, it's about my sister and, uh, she's been working to try to find the truth ever since. And it's just as inspirational to see what she's done, uh, in terms of growing with that and diving into social media. Um, she's gotten exposure on so many different channels and on top of that decided she needed to have her own voice. So she started her own podcast, uh, voices for justice. She's cracked into just really, I can't imagine how tough it is to go through letters you know that your father sent you when he was in prison that you hadn't even opened before and now you're taking all this on and you're going through that and going through all the videotape and um it's it's a lot that she has taken on and i really respect and admire that she's doing that and of course last night we had an awesome live stream over on her mm -hmm. channel where uh for Alyssa's birthday um oh, so yeah you. please check out voices for justice of course you know danielle hallen she does a little podcast called crime after crime and has just a little tiny youtube channel <laughs> oh my goodness yeah and i've been telling everyone today i posted a video and i i know you always make fun of me because every time i'm like no this was my favorite podcast episode <laughs> right. but i'm not joking <laughs> I'm not joking when I said that the last one, craziest evidence, that was insane. It was a I good one. one. I loved the different stories that we found. It was awesome. Yeah, and the audience is having a tough time with the vote on that too, which I love. I haven't even looked. I yeah. Look. yeah. I, want, I always like it when you surprise me. Yeah. Except it's like, it's a surprise, but not a surprise because I try not to peek at it. <laughs> oh. um, it doesn't always go that way. Let me just say, uh, on top of the amazing people that we have on screen here, you guys in the chat, thank you so much. Uh, Lisa Thanks. Lambert kicked in another donation. Pi1215, another big donation. Christy Arnhart even donated. Christy, you're, you're way too sweet. Uh, Barbara Smith, Jordan, Super Crafty mm -hmm. Ashley, uh, Shael. Shyel, I hope I'm saying that right. I'll, I have to ruin someone's name before I'm done with the video. Uh, we are now at $181. So Woo! we beat last week. And on, yeah. on top of that, uh, Morph actually sent me a donation um, specifically for this cause as well of an additional $50 wow. outside of this. Aww, so amazing. Yeah. Wow. So all together, yeah. what are we looking at? $231. Oh, that um, makes me so happy. Yeah, yeah. 2,300 meals that will happen because of you guys being awesome here tonight. So thank you so much. Makes it all worthwhile. Any last words, ladies, before we call it no, a night? No, this was fun. I, I know. I had, I had such a good time. Yeah, I want to do it here. again. Yeah. Awesome. Yes, please. <laughs> invite me back. <laughs> yeah, you got it. You got it. And I want to give a very special thank you to my wife who jumped in totally last minute. And a big shout out to Stephanie and Amber. We'll see you on the show soon. John Gray Morph, thank you for jumping in on the comments. Everyone, have an amazing night. I'll be back next Saturday. We'll have a different mix of some of your favorite true crimers here on the channel. Take care, everyone. Have a great night. Stay Bye. safe. Stay healthy. Bye, guys.